going to drive from Arizona to Nevada right over the Hoover Dam. We have so little time, a budget, and have big dreams to travel and explore. By taking adventures in Orlando, our hometown, and traveling the world, we plan on making those dreams a reality. To see what's next, subscribe and welcome to our journey. You never know where we might end up. So we're making our first stop to the Hoover Dam, which has actually been on our bucket list, one of the things. And we're actually going to hit multiple different other locations that are on our bucket list as well. Basically, when you first come into the Hoover Dam, you have to go through a security check. So that's what we're in line right now. And you have to roll down all the windows. And it's winter time right now, so it's like freezing cold. Holy cow, it's freaking cold and windy. <sighs> so, first stop, security check. Hey, good morning, how are you? Good morning, pretty good. How about yourself? Doing well, thank you. Any firearms on board? No, sir. Nope. Lane number one. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. So, moral of the story, no firearms when you are coming to the Hoover Dam. Otherwise, you'll get turned around. You won't be able to go onto the bridge. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, so if you have an RV, there's I know there's been a lot of questions. Like, if you're coming to the Hoover Dam with an RV, there's actually parking for you. And you can come down and you can cross over the bridge. Now, if you're like in a semi or something bigger like that, you're not allowed to come down. But here at this first little point that we came through, as soon as you come through the security check, there's this little, you wrap around this hill. So there's three spots for RVs to park. So if you have an RV, you're good to park. Now we're gonna walk up that. <laughs> it's gonna be tired and exhausted. <sighs> wow, that's, oh, this is the, is this the actual bridge? <sighs> so when you get up to this parking lot, and you climb up the stairs that we just did. Um, you can actually get a picture crossing it into Nevada. So if your goal is to be in the two different states at one time, there you go. <laughs> ah, look at this. flow traffic basically otherwise you used to have to actually go over the dam you can see it down there <sighs> okay <laughs> we're done freezing so now we're gonna head back down and then we're actually going to cross over the bridge this time so uh, or over the bridge over the dam um, word of advice if you're coming in the winter time wear a jacket and a sweat I'm literally double layered right now sweatshirt and a jacket and the boys have really thin jackets, so they're freezing, so they have already booked it all the way to the other end. All right, now we're back in the car. It's freezing cold, and now we're actually going to drive over the Hoover Dam on the bridge itself, so we're really excited about this. But uh, you can actually walk across it. I don't know that. Are we getting out to walk? <laughs> I don't know that we're getting out to walk because it's really freaking cold right now. We were literally just right there. I mean, the guys who construct this. Yeah, this is incredible. Look to your right. You know, Nate's right. Let's learn about those guys and do a quick little flashback. Just a couple years. 
The year is 1929, and the Great Depression was in full flux, leaving thousands of men and their families jobless and even homeless. Not knowing when the next meal will be, desperation was setting in. With rumors of the Hoover Dam being built in the near future, they decided to uproot their lives with only one goal in mind, becoming a dam construction employee. Although employment was uncertain and still a few years out, they started migrating to the tiny city of Las Vegas, Nevada. With Las Vegas being about 30 miles away from the dam and most families having no means of transportation, a new community was born only miles away from where the dam construction will actually take place. That is known as Ragtown. Ragtown consisted of makeshift homes created of tents, tin scraps, cardboard boxes, and even sticks. Literally anything they could find to make some cover. And did I mention they are literally in the middle of the desert where temperatures will get up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer and below freezing temperatures in the winters? You could say these men and families literally lived through some of the most harsh living conditions in this period of their lives just to get food on their non-existent tables. So when survival is the only aspect that they truly focused on, they learned very quickly what they were capable of doing to actually keep it. Ladies and gents, these are the incredible people who built this iconic piece of infrastructure that you see today. Now, let's give them a big round of applause and a big thumbs up to the bottom left of your screen. Let's do it. You wanna walk? Yeah. Let me grab my jacket. Okay, so we decided to walk over the dam. I just need to grab my coat again, but basically, this is just so cool. This is just, if you have the time, definitely come down here. I know if you don't rent a car, you can hop on a bus, and I'll try to put all of that information down below in the description box or on our website, and I'll try to break down all of the information on how to get here to the Hoover Dam. It's definitely a must because it's literally right here. Mark it off. It's too bad the exhibits aren't open because that's where all the information is about the construction of the actual dam. Like, cool, the bridge is nice, but like, this is like... It's cool. Yes, sadly, all the tours and inside exhibits were actually closed during our visit because of the beer virus. So before you actually make your trip, definitely double check the website for closures, and I will be sure to put that down below in the description box. So, that's Nevada, that's Arizona. <laughs> and if you are, since the exhibits and stuff are closed, they actually do have restrooms on top of the dam itself. So you don't have to walk all the way over to the other side back there where the actual exhibits are to use the restroom. So you guys check out his cool sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are interested in buying some of our merch, I'll put that link down below in the description box. And if you didn't already know, we do actually have a website, and yes, you can also find this link there. Just click on shop, and there you go! Oh, and to close out the winter season with a bang, we discounted some of our merchandise by 15%. Happy shopping! That's what it, the well, that spillway. is. Look, says so can handle the flow. Oh, <laughs> that is Niagara Falls. That's funny. I know. Not I was Rams. Right. He got, I got that on on video. What did you, you say? You got, uh, that on beta? Uh, you got that on beta. I got that on beta. All right. So for this adventure, we're traveling all the way from Nevada. No, we're hiking from Nevada all the way to Arizona. Nice sweatshirt you got there. Look at that. Yeah. Uh huh. I like it. You went to the wrong side first. <laughs> I think I'm literally. Like, I have to time next to the freeway. <laughs> right, Blake. What do you think? Yeah. 
<laughs> Spot number one, it's freezing cold and holy cow, my eyes are watering because it's so freaking windy. But I'm not sure if you can even hear me right now, but. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, that's a video. I'm gonna drive over the top of it. Um, I'm hoping next time. <laughs> it's so windy. I'm hoping next time that it, we come back. And as always, if you guys enjoyed our video, give us a big thumbs up. It actually really helps. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Smash that bell, click all, and then you'll be notified when we go on our next adventure. See you guys later.